<clears throat> All right. Uh, I was going to wait for chat to pop up because I did something with the chat in this new screen or whatever. Um, anyways, uh, this is a new thing that I want to try out. And that is basically podcasts. For some reason. In 2018. So. I was going to do. You know before info. Uh, not fucking info. Before Kenridits popped up in, on YouTube. I did live streams on info. And then at some points I was going to try. In interviewing other mappers. Because back then. I was in the map community right. And I started to lag. That's very nice but. I'm not going to get ahead of myself. I'm not going to do anything special. I'm just going to talk about various topics. I do have a list of things that I want to talk about. So the first chapter right now is the introduction. Um, I will talk about various other things. But um, if you're wondering like... Okay, there are three people joined. Welcome. Um, if you're wondering... If you're wondering like... If you want to watch this later, where can where can I watch? I'm gonna upload this podcast as well on Henry's Reborn, uh, where I upload as well my streams. Anyway, the first topic is about Twitch and streaming in general. So basically, I want to show you this first. So you see, this is an achievement. In Twitch, right? And I'm kind of close to being affiliate. So I want to talk about this for a moment. Uh, so it's kind of easy to get affiliate, except like average views or viewers. So I'm going to keep streaming for, for a while. Lidl. Yes, let me see if chat works. It does. All right. <laughs> this podcast is so shit. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I just want to show you that. But let's bring something interesting. We are getting kind of fast on this. A furry. Okay, wait. A furry that was on like Twitter got um got fired from Na- NASA. Yes, he was in NASA and he got fired. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I might <laughs> Okay, so I saw this from Moist Critical. I don't have any music for this. I guess I'll play this song. Is this good? I don't know. I'm just gonna pick something, I guess. Alright, so I found this on Moist Critical's video and uh, this is so outrageous. How does this guy have like how did he get a job in me? So that's my big concern. Um, and also people on Twitter. Like, everyone knows that the people on Twitter are, like, awful. Like, my only purpose when I have Twitter, right? My only purpose is to see, like, other YouTubers talk about something or their announcements. Sometimes it's, like, game... Oh, God, this music is kind of loud. Uh, sometimes about, like, game dev stuff. And... Um, that's how why I use Twitter, but you know, you see shit like this, and I, you're like, eh, nah. You know? Oh, yeah, Valve. I want to talk about the video games as well. Yes. I want to talk about video games about uh, in recent times. So, games like Doom Eternal, Half Life Alex, like, that was good stuff. And we're about to see like Sandbox and Sandbox is fucking what was the other game called? Yeah, Age of Empires 4. I think that's also announced. Um, all right, I want to talk about mapping. It's not negative this time, okay? So cosmic. I don't know if I don't know if music suits this podcast. Honestly, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Age of Empires 4, they announced it like, I don't know when. I know the second one is a really good roasted streaming edition, yes. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything. Oh, thanks for follow, by the way, bitch. Um, 
I'm not gonna say anything bad right now about mapping until I want to. Actually, I might. We will see. So, a guy called Cosmic Mapping, right? Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> this podcast is so shit. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Uh, <laughs> this is so fucking bad. Whatever. Uh, so. Cosmic Mapping, which is like a veteran in the mapping community. I know him. A lot of people do. Uh, I remember being in much worse podcasts. Listen. Listen. This podcast will be better than H3 Podcast, okay? This one. This one is about engagement in chat. Alright? Fuck the H3, huh? Fuck H3. (laughs) This is better than the... Jake Paul, Logan Paul podcast, or whatever the fuck it's called. H3 f- sucks, even with the podcast. Yeah, I, I, I don't even have H3 on my list yet, but I, I do want to talk about H3. Dude, H3 was a, was a really cool guy. G- give me a mod? No. H3 was a really cool guy, like, back in the day. Like, when Filthy Frank was around, but as soon as Filthy Frank left, and when he started doing this podcast shit... It kind of went downhill, especially with the Keemstar stuff. Like, I didn't make a video on, like, Keemstar. I'm like, you know? But, um... You know, both were wrong. Both were wrong. I mean, honestly, I think that Keemstar has a bit less... I I think I have less respect for Keemstar, because Keemstar always fucks up everything, but... He's also a troll. Add troll face and troll 3D. What do you mean? In here? <laughs> Maybe next time. We'll see. Um, but Kimsu was always a troll. And uh, that's why he's sometimes funny. But H3, like, he was funny until um, shit happened. I don't know, he isn't cool anymore to me. And uh, I want to talk about something else. I don't have this again on my list. I have various other things that I want to talk about. For example, TCC or the future of my channel and Discord server, but... Who the fuck is John Swan? People talked about him, like, last month or whatever. Like, I heard that he was some commentary YouTuber and he talked about Dream and then... Uh, then people said, oh, John Swan lied, then they hurt their feelings. Like, who gives a shit, dude? Just don't watch these... Sus... <laughs> sus YouTubers. <laughs> oh my god, this podcast is so... So good. But, um, yeah, John Swan, I don't know, people were talking about him. Um... I only watch people who are... Who are um, who were on YouTube for a long time. Where I will get to this next topic. Dream. Dream didn't. Uh, or at least wasn't on YouTube for a long time. I think he joined like 2018. Or something. And I'm not going to talk only about Dream stands. On, about, uh, on fucking Dream's channel. I also want to talk about. Like, his content in general. Like, at first, he gained popularity because of PewDiePie. PewDiePie started, like, playing Minecraft. Then... Then he... It it became, like, the biggest Let's Play series of all time, I think. Or maybe in, in Minecraft in general, right? And... He didn't make Minecraft popular again. What happened is that he jumped in... And Dream, basically, oh, he was like, oh, I'm cool, I found PewDiePie's seed. And he did. That's his uh, first step. And at the time, he it, it was fine, you know. He gained, like, 1 million subscribers. But then he started eventually growing in this, like, unnatural way. Like, it, it, when you see, like, people like Jack Saptica or Markiplier, you can see that, that you build their respect because... They're, they don't grow like Dream, right? They have... They grow over time, normally. And... Another reason why Dream 
got popular is because of Mr. Beast. Be Mr. Beast on his second channel. I don't know if it's the second channel. He has a ton of channels. But fucking Mr. Beast Gaming. He promoted out the fuck out of it there. And Mr. Beast is usually known as the guy who gives money. I mean, that that's not bad. You know, he's helping people out. Um, but, you know... Everyone likes money, and because Mr. Beast is so popular, of course, kids are gonna watch, like, Mr. Beast, and with gaming, like, especially when Mr. Beast is playing, like, Minecraft, and, like, GTA 5 with, like, funny XD mods, obviously, people are gonna jump in on Dream because Dream is a Minecraft channel and that's and Mr. Beast in includes like Dream all the fucking time. Oh, who will win? Uh Dream or Technoblade? I wonder who is gonna be also Lost Beavers. <laughs> My podcast is amazing. Um But yeah. So about content, I just wanna talk talk about his content. I'd rather watch the Russian Mr. Beast. No, 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 he's worse. The Russian Mr. Beast is worse. I heard about him, dude. Like, last week. Russian Mr. Beast is worse because the Russian Mr. Beast is, like, stealing content from Mr. Beast. I'm not saying Mr. Beast is bad. I'm saying that Dream is bad because of his shitty-ass repetitive content. And then I hear people, like... I don't know what's his name again. Some fucking Minecraft YouTuber said, Oh, I watch him dream all the time. He does this cool shit. No, dude, stop fucking lying. <laughs> I'm like, stop lying, dude. It's fucking stupid. Unless you're really involved in Minecraft, then I could probably believe you. But, um, but with the, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about like fucking dream stands. That's apparently a thing because you know, firstly, people were calling these. I mean, let me let me explain what Stan is. So Stan is like a fan who loves someone a lot and does like a lot of like overdoes a lot of things. Like it's, it's super fan of someone basically, super fan. And they will do anything. The the followers will do anything for that guy who they follow. And I'm pretty sure Dream accepted the fact that that his fan base is full of stands, and it's okay to have stands. Um, but you know, at first, I don't know. Like that to me, uh, I saw this BTS shit, right? And that's why I'm like, eh, no. Then he released like like a video about stands, and I'm like. Dude, come on. I know he's lying. I know he's lying, dude. He's just trying to, like, make everything positive. It's not... I think he's lying to himself. Um, I'm super biased. But... I'm pretty sure that he's, he's lying. That he, he appreciates his, like, fans. Because I do know that some of his fans, like... We drew like gore of like him and then Dream accepted it or something. I saw that on Twitter, or at least I heard it. So yeah, and uh, there's this uh, speedrun allegations, and um, and like Dream. I mean, we all know that Dream fucked up there, but he like. Because of his fans, because the, the amount of quantity of kids, right? Everyone's gonna believe Dream because they love Dream. They love his uh, epic kills in his uh, Minecraft videos or whatever. And that's why I hate his growth. It's just so fast and sudden, like it's unreal. I mean, Mr. Beast as well, but like you have to understand, he stayed here way longer from my like you know understanding because Mr. Beast did this fucking he made his channel like eight years ago or something and he did first of all he did like some funny videos with Chris he did like videos about 
in intros or outros or whatever, I don't remember. But, but then he deleted some of them. I hate that, by the way, from Mr. Beast. That's the only thing I hate him. Uh, hate him for. And then he started doing these 10k dollar chances, which, which are fine, but I think that's a bit repetitive. But I can't judge him anyways, because... I mean, it's a good thing to do, to, like, help others. Um, but what can I say? It's kind of unfortunate that Mr. Beast deleted, like, um, his older videos a bit. Like, especially the intro-outro videos. I did watch, like, Mr. Beast, like, a few years ago. I think it was, like, at least four years ago, he did, like, pretty funny fucking shit. Ayo, Infinext, Inficast, they want me and Blank. All right, sure. Sure. Sure, buddy. Uh, so, yeah. Dream stands. He, he, Dream just keeps lying that he likes them. That's, I think that's the thing. And at this point, because Dream is so overrated, I don't think he will get any... Like, all the criticism is going to be orf overflown, you know. It's not the worst... He's not the worst YouTuber, though. I don't think Dream is the worst YouTuber. Uh, we all know, like, there exists worst YouTubers. I talked about, like, Keemstar and, like, Logan Paul and shit. Alright, I'm going to get on my list because I think I'm being tra uh, distracted. Uh, Alright, so... The Mapping Iceberg. I got invited for the Mapping Iceberg. I know I said this before, but I was kind of distracted with Dream and shit. So, Cosmic Mapping, he's a veteran in, mapping co in the mapping community. Um, so basically, Cosmic Mapping told me in DMs that, oh, hey, we're doing this project. Do you want to, like, do voiceovers for us or voice lines? And I said, sure, it's about the iceberg thingy, right? And he, he sent me a Discord server. There's a bunch of mappers that I know, and uh, there's this, like, Google Doc script that is, like, 85 pages long. And I have, like... He didn't give me anything specific to say yet. I did help out with the script a bit. With, like, one of the things that it is in the script is his videos are cool to kill time. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, uh, fucking Cosmic, he, he's, a nice, he's a nice guy. He's actually very energetic and really um, friendly. Very friendly. I like him. Um... I did watch one of his videos, it was pretty entertaining, but I think they're kind of too long. I, I get what he's trying to do, but it's a bit too long. Like, five year Cosmic Universe is like one hour long, but it's very it's a very good edited video, and I should probably watch some of those, but <laughs> ain't got time for that. <laughs> Sorry, I'll watch it one day, I promise. Uh, but, yeah, anyways, with the, uh, collab, we don't know when it's coming out, uh, so, the reason why I'm saying this publicly is because I assume it's public because Cosmic posted a, uh, tweet on Twitter about the thing, you know, the iceberg, but it's not, he didn't say it specifically, it's the iceberg, the mapping iceberg, he just, like, included a gif and said some, like, stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, he told me I'm doing like two things for the iceberg, which I wish I would do more, but you know, it is what it is. I'm also going to make a video about the mapping iceberg, but it's going to be a bit funny because, because, uh, one of the mappers, the other mappers called Protonian made, uh, another mapping iceberg. And that was before the video was even planned. Yes, we need funny. Yeah, I know. Uh, so that older mapping iceberg was so terrible <laughs> that the mapping community was like memeing him, including me. I was gonna actually make a video, and I will. 
but uh, not yet because I actually want the actual mapping aspect to come out so I can promote it and just joke about the older one, which is really shit. It's so inaccurate, <laughs> but um, yeah. But Protonian came in my DMs and said like, "Oh, don't make a video, don't make a video, please." And I'm I'm like, maybe, maybe I won't. But you know what I always do? I need I need views, man. <laughs> Speaking of views, it's actually a bit further down my list, but I'm going to talk about the future of my channel. Yes. Um, so, according to new views for money, I mean, I'm more into subscribers right now, but um, I'm trying to get subscribers first. Then, obviously, you need views and then you can get subscribers. But money is like my third thing with YouTube. Like first comes subscribers. Like that's my, my most important thing to get subscribers. Second views, third money. Everything else is is like misc or whatever the fuck you call it. Uh, all right. So the future of my channel. What am I gonna do? Well, I'm not going to tell you what I'm exactly going to do, but I'm going to try to make something similar to the Portal 1 video. But it's not going to be the next video, it's going to be something else. Um, how much do you earn throughout YouTube... Uh, how much do you earn throughout, through YouTube each video that gets monetized? I uh, get <laughs> what do I, I can't even fucking speak and read. Alright, I will tell you. So, it depends on which video. So, my recent videos get like... A dollar, a dollar per video. But I do get revenue from mapping videos, and I would estimate. I mean, actually, depends what which mapping video actually as well. Okay, so episodes, right? Mapping episodes. I would say between ten to twenty dollars per month. But movies, oh, movies. Um, I would say movies give me around between 50 to 100 but could be a bit less than that I'm not gonna give you the exact number I'm just doing this on purpose and everything else is like one dollar <laughs> this is monthly so yeah obviously not every video that isn't mapping is gonna earn me one dollar there's obviously the stashy video right that I uploaded as a joke it had 100 views I mean, it has one reviews. Amazing income. Yeah, I mean, the income is fine. I'm actually fine with it. it. It's not something that I can, like... It's not like... Uh, over 1,000 or anything. I never had a one over 1,000 monthly. I did at least have over 500, but not 1,000. 1,000 is too, too high. Um, isn't $1 in Serbia, like... What do you mean one dollar in Serbia? One dinner. Fucking. <laughs> okay, so 100 dinners in Serbia is around one dollar. US. <laughs> one dollar in Serbia. The fuck? <laughs> Whatever. Um, so, what, I, what I was talking about? I was talking about my content. So, I see some of the videos like the Dashi video got way less views but I'm not that I'm not I, I don't really care about that video that much but I'm more concerned about the portal video because that actually took me some effort uh, the videos that usually t take me like at least you know at least two days or more I care more about those videos than anything else um, yes including mapping Sure, I did, I did put some effort, right? Some effort. It's not the best video ever or anything. But, um, but I mean, anything, like, over two days is, like, all right. If that video gets, like, 100 views, I'm, like, disappointed, then I'm going to move on to some lower quality shit, which is usually where... Like if if you saw my dislike video, right? That's I that is what I consider a low effort content, and um, 
I mean, it got 1,000 views. It, I'm pretty happy about that, but I would prefer quality of, over quantity, but I guess people want, don't, don't like that, so I'm like, all right, lower this. <laughs> oh, yeah. The scotching uh, with the YouTube membership thing, so I want to talk about that as, as well. So, scotching became the first Chad... Chad is a tier, by the way, on my YouTube membership. He became the first Chad on the channel, so very epic. Um, make shit posts and get free views. All right, I will tell you what I'm doing with channels. So, Henry, that's main videos, Influent. I'm uploading like dev uh, devlogs and shit. But Henry, it's reborn is shit posts and live streams. So I will upload this podcast question mark podcast i'll put this podcast on that channel uh so people can see it later <laughs> even though nobody's gonna watch it because they don't even promote the fucking third channel um oh yeah speaking of my of my other channels i don't really care about how successful my other channels are i'm all in for henry that's like um I mean, Influent is like, and I mean, they, the other channels do have a purpose and that's, so I don't ha actually have to upload that kind of content on Hindu edits and to like for shit posts, I want to kind of avoid risk of like possibly strikes, but you know, I do sometimes make some controversial moves sometimes, <laughs> but, um, I mean, with Infinite, it's gonna be just spammed with TCC. I just don't want to turn my channel into that. I, I do. I want to have separate channels. And people are like, "Why don't you make a, a new channel?" I'm a, I, and I'm like, "I already have new channels. I, ha I already have like different channels." But it's fine. I'm never. I'm, I mean, I'm. I'm always gonna be asked this these questions, and I just have to deal with it. Um. Anyways, fun fact: I'm gonna get 30k in 2023. That's not really fun for me. <laughs> That's um, based on analytics. So I get around 100, 200 subs per month. Well, I mean, it, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you can see already, like, it makes kind of sense. But, um, yeah. And from my analytics, I'll reach 10 million views in total on the channel by the end of 2021. All right, one second, guys. BRB. Alright, I'm back, sorry about that. Alright, Inficast is back. By the way, if you need some pot stuff for podcasts, feel free to ask me. Alright, will do. Uh, Alright, back to the... Um, the podcast. Sorry about that. My mother came in. You know, that's why I streamed in the first place. So I don't have anything to worry about. It's fine. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't talk about the length of these podcasts. I just forgot. It's one of the things that it's kind of important. I And what's actually going to be in podcasts. So, I'm... Uh, so, in podcasts, I want to talk about various topics, obviously. But I might include someone in the podcasts. But it's usually going to be just me. Uh, and 
the podcasts are gonna last around an hour, maybe less than an hour. Right now we hit the midpoint. We have few topics to talk about. One of them is cyberpunk. So you might like hear the same story like cyberpunk sucks. It does. It's right. You're right. But it wasn't as bad as No Man's Sky. So I don't know if you know this, but No Man's Sky, when it came out, people were kind of disappointed. Maybe first day was like, yeah, you know, but second day when people realized there, there's no multiplayer. There's no, like, promised stuff in No Man's Sky. Then people really got mad. There was this um, various videos that were released. And Hello Games, which is the company who made No Man's Sky, were, like, maybe being sued on, and there was a lot of criticisms. But over time, the game got relevance again and they were actually adding content that was promised back in launch. Um... Even though that the launch did permanent damage, it kind of got back, sort of, and people started to like the game again. Cyberpunk wasn't as bad as No Man's Sky, and I believe that Cyberpunk can reach the same level as No Man's Sky. I think it could be relevant, uh, but I don't think it has endless content. I don't know. Um, I didn't ever play No Man's Sky, but I assume No Man's Sky is like Minecraft, but with planets. Cyberpunk is not gonna be super replayable, so I don't expect it to be like that much of like amazing. But yeah, I mean Cyberpunk can be- definitely get back and sneeze. Uh, like they did release like patch one. Alright, some of the stuff were fixed, but, like, not everything. And, of course, I... Things do take time and shit. So, you know. As a game dev, I can respect it. And I, and I did say that before, when they delayed the game, like, twice. I said, oh, it's fine. The, if the game takes longer to make, and if they delay it, they'll probably, like, fix some bugs. And I probably believe them, right? But you know the game, oh, fucking ninja. <laughs> but you know when the when the game came out, obviously like people weren't really happy about the uh, release. All right, time to talk about ninja on stream. <laughs> That's my family friend, the N word. So, uh, you know, PG, N-word, face. The colorful creature. I, I want to talk about the colorful creature because it's kind of important. So, TCC is very close to being on Steam. And, and it's kind of exciting for me because I did some paperwork with, like, Steamworks. Now, all I have to do is pay... $100, which is like a required thing that you have to do uh, because like there was this before steam works there was steam green light uh, you could just post the game and if the game got upvoted then you can fucking get the game on the store page and have it for free but the Steam, like, the uh, Steam Greenlight got fucking invaded by bots in 2017 or so, 2018. And now it's no longer possible for bots to just, like, upvote the game over and over again. And simply, like, fucking ruin the entire system. Um, instead, they made the Steamwork system, which is probably better for security. And it's not that, I mean, it is quite kind of expensive but you, you know you're putting the game on steam so it's expected um thankfully i do have the donations for putting the game on steam already in, like 2020 early 2020 so that's very nice uh, the game will definitely come on steam 
And uh, one of the things that I want to change, my intern is due, nice. One of the things that I do want to change with like TCC is everything. Yes, absolutely everything. I do want to change everything in the game. <coughs> oh shit, <laughs> nice podcast. <laughs> uh, but yeah, when you buy the game, some people are going to get keys. Some people are going to get keys. Uh, I do have another list who are going to get keys. Uh, all I can say is nobody in the chat currently, but I want to see two people that, you know. If I'm being honest, I actually like this podcast. Oh, I love typing. Thanks. <laughs> I guess. Um, usually some other podcasts don't really interact with chat. Just talk talk about various different topics. But I guess this one will have that for a while. I need more viewers. Maybe I'm boring. Maybe I'm fucking boring. <laughs> Maybe that's the thing. That's why that's why people don't watch like my videos. Maybe I'm fucking too boring. That's that's probably fucking why. But that's how it is. But compared to what I had in 2017, I had less viewers, right? Like I was doing some random shit, right? When I was in mapping, I did like memes. They were they were like getting 100 views, and now my videos get like. Average 500, maybe some 1,000, which I'm really proud of, you know, mapping did like actually cause my viewers to go up, so that's good, and that's how I could build my community, but I can't build a community all the time for mapping, right, I have to do something new, that's what I'm trying to do right now for this year, and I really want to succeed on that. Barely get 50? Nah, I, I, I don't think... I don't think I struggle that much. Are you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we were all... We were all there. Come on. One second. Sorry. <laughs> Music go burr. That's right. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I I um I don't like interruptions, and this is one of them. You know that that's how the podcast is gonna be. Constant interruptions. I was talking about this here earlier. So obviously, when the game. When the game comes on Steam, it's not gonna be free. Test, yes, you you tested. Uh, when the game is gonna be on Steam, it's not gonna be free. It's gonna be early access. It's gonna be two euros. Full release, which is gonna be probably in 2022. Uh, that's probably gonna be three euros. Afterwards, there are gonna be sales and stuff. There's not gonna be a price increase after that. Then maybe in the far future, like 10 or 15 years from now, I might decrease the price permanently or something. It, it, and the updates on the game is going to depend on how many people play the game on Steam. If nobody plays it, at least I'm going to update the game to 1.0 um, or 1.1. 1. 1. But if people do play it, let's say like at least 10 people... That's at least, like, absolute minimum. Like, nothing, if anything below, I'm not going to work on the game anymore. If anything is, like, above 10 or 15, uh, then 
then I'm gonna keep working the game. I'm gonna keep improving it and probably in increase the fan base of the game. What's also important for TCC is the store page. And if I fuck up the store page, people will probably be disinterested to buy my game. So I'm aware that when I put the game on Steam, people who never saw the game before will will see the store page. And I did actually see some videos about that. Like the first four screenshots of this your store page are really important because when you're like searching a game and will be in mobile. Um, I was a lot of people ask me this question. Uh, probably, probably, maybe I'm not gonna say yes because because uh, I do have the license for putting the game on Android. Um, like the game maker license, it caught, you don't look at the price, but um, but I can put the game there. But I don't know, like it's actually r hard to make it like apical, you know. It's so like ridiculously hard. You need like a lot of stuff, and that's why I don't really understand it. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna put ads. Come on. <laughs> Maybe, but, uh, but I don't think I will. I don't think I will unless I'm greedy. <laughs> I I don't I don't I'm not desperate for money. Do it for lols. Lol, 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 lol. I don't even know how to fucking add ads. <laughs> it's not like fucking Unity, dude, where you install assets. You have to code it in yourself, like I did with like Discord API. But I did do like I there was like a um, with Discord API with Wish Presence. There was like a I could download the uh, thing and then like change a lot of stuff in it so I can make it work properly, like on on Discord's website and also in the game's code. So everything would look how I wanted it to. So that's another proof why I don't know how to do networking shit with coding. Uh oh yeah. So Android. So the reason why I can't really make a port yet, it's not because I can I don't know how to make controls. I think I can make controls for the game for Android. But the thing is, like exporting, that's my main thing. If I know, uh, if I something somehow knew to export the game for Android, it's not easy. It's not easy like fucking Windows or Linux. That that shit is like easy. Like Linux, I had problems before, but but later I figured out you need like a VM and stuff. But this this shit is harder. Okay, it's not like Linux or Windows. Windows is like you can immediately like export, no problem. But Linux is a bit harder, and then Android is, eh, and then other consoles. Ah, no, <laughs> it's a nightmare. But I, oh yeah, uh, with this I don't think I'll port on any consoles. There's no way I will. Uh, there will definitely be. The game will definitely come out on Windows and Linux. Mac, I don't know. Maybe I don't think it will. But if I feel like I, I don't think I have any Mac players. I d I surprisingly I had Linux players, and that people did ask for it, which I'm glad for, and I'm glad that the free version, which is one six two, is on Linux. Mac sucks. Yeah, I agree. Mac does suck. It's Mac. Mac is more for uh, like working and stuff it does do it does good ram management management but and but overall it's like <laughs> you know they don't even support terraria but the thing is like it's not that mac doesn't support it it's the fact that terraria doesn't is important that os that's the thing but yeah linux and windows only maybe android maybe ios but I don't know how to make those ports. So therefore, probably not, but probably yes. <laughs> I really have no clue. Um, 
but yeah, when I mean, the games come to see Steam, expect everything to be better. Absolutely everything. Like anything you ask me, oh, is it graphics? Is it gameplay? Is it uh, items, blocks, stuff? Is endless run challenges? Everything is better, or it will be better. It's on. I didn't make you the update. I did, I, I did like 0.001% of the fucking shit. Uh, and yeah. I'm not going to specifically say what it is though. So don't expect me to say anything because I do really want to hype this game up. I don't, I don't want to explain. Oh, there is an item that lets you blah, blah, blah. You know, I don't want to say anything like that. Because people... I probably don't even want to fucking upload an update log on 1.7. I used to, like, post um, update logs, which were which were basically, like, oh, I, I do 1.0, right? Bit 1.0. Then I post a update log in in the middle of development, and then when the, the update comes out, people can try it. The update log is supposed to be, like, Oh, these are the features you're gonna expect. Well, I think right now when I'm trying to put the game on Steam, I don't think I will reveal everything in the game. Maybe, uh, maybe when the trailer comes out, maybe I will say some stuff, but yeah. Can't decide if I should learn C Sharp or C++. So, if you wanna code, I mean both are good. But, um, you know, depends on what you, what you want to make. C++ is probably a bit harder. Uh, because, I mean, you can do basically anything. You can make your own engine on C++. C Sharp is JavaScript. Eh. You know, C Sharp is good. JavaScript is easy to learn. JavaScript is like, um, I mean, it's good, but it's a bit unoptimized. Fuck making my own engine. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't, rec I wouldn't recommend it, especially making your own OS or something, which is probably possible in C++, maybe in C. C is awful, never try C. <laughs> I mean, C's can be used for uh, for various things, but at least it's better than Scratch, you know. So you, on C, you, you only have, like, a console app. It, it isn't... I, C++ is definitely better than C. Python? Eh. You know, I didn't, I didn't try, like, every single language. I didn't try JavaScript. I didn't j try Python. I did try the other three, you know, the C and C++ and C Sharp. Uh, but I do know what the others do because I did read on stuff. Java I didn't try. I should probably learn like C Sharp because I... Maybe I should try Unity and like 3D games. I never, I never made a 3D game in my life. I do want to make like a first person shooter at some point. Or maybe a top-down shooter and game maker. I will see. Anyways, the last thing I will talk about is Discord server updates. So, one of the things I do want to make for for my Discord server, maybe some events. I forgot what it is exactly. I just trying to remember. I think I talked to the staff team about this. No, I'm not going to change staff. Uh, oh, yeah. I actually want to talk about staff, but I'm not going to change it yet. So, Power got demoted. Power, I like you, buddy, but you got to respect the owner. You know, who's the owner? You're not the owner. I'm the owner. <laughs> so, fuck you. <laughs> so, I mean, side is like, when I'm getting promotion... You're gonna get it eventually, but but power is like really impatient, dude. Come on, he's American. I'm not racist, but he's American. Come on. But um, <laughs> yeah, power is the one to be for leaving. 
And maybe he should have been demoted because he didn't really do much. When Fatty got banned, I mean, that was their choice. They are left. That was kind of the reason why I demoted Fa Oops, I just moved that. Um, that was kind of the reason why I demoted... Not demoted. Fucking banned Fatty and... Adapt. I mean, okay, Fatty, yes, he should have been banned. Maybe Adapt, not really, but he should be punished. And right cut back, uh, and as you can see, he's punished. Let me just move this. Yeah. But Fatty, I think he will have the longest ban. I'm not. I'm not gonna say it because he might watch this. Adapt. I don't think he will come back. But I mean, he. he I don't think that. I mean, I would probably not have him banned, but he he will get strike if he j joins. Um, and right, you know, right. He he has strike four. He has to deliver with it. And nerd is becoming controversial on the server. Why the fuck he, did he post like a Pornhub link? Like that's I, I don't understand. Like is it is it because of fucking Saidu? I mean Saidu is also wrong. That's why I demoted him, and that's why Power is like eh, no. He's like, oh, you let p other people do stuff. I mean, you just told me, right, Power, that he's gonna leave because of Fatty. And I let Fatty do stuff, you know. But, um, I guess he want. he's like, you know, instantly regrets stuff. I don't want Fatty to be unbanned. I think that, I mean, not yet. Not yet. I'll, 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 is, it's not even anytime soon. It's not even anytime soon. It's not even halfway there. It's only, it's probably not even quarter away. There. <sighs> when I feel like it, he might get unbanned. Obviously with a strike five. Uh, but anyway. I don't understand why he you posted the porn or anything. He, he could have done like, it, it, it he could have done it in the DMs. Okay, what I'm, what the hell happened with this other? So basically, nerd. When the server was like, oh, uh, can we do? Can you make a not safe for world text channel? Obviously, we're never gonna accept that. There is literally no way. Um, and no offense, and this is actually true. No offense, actually no offense. Nerd told me he was autistic, so I assume that's that's one of his ways of like thinking. And Saidu is like, no, go to Pornhub, and he sent the link. And I understand why he did that. That's not allowed on the server. You can, but the thing is, like, you can talk about porn all you want, but as long as you don't send porn or gore or anything, you know. And and as long as it's actually not against the other rules. And Saidu broke rule 2 and, you know, I do want people to be equal on the server. And that's why I demoted Saidu. And Power is like, we're promoted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, bro. Uh, Saidu is like, you know, not Saidu. Power is like, we're promoting. I said no. And he said, oh, I'm going to leave the server. I, I'm like, you're not going to do this again. You're not going to change my opinion. This is my final decision. And if you don't like it, leave. And he left. And that's where the drama ended. That's where nobody else complained. And that's how it is. I don't, I, and the drama just lasted like 30 minutes. Come on. I don't think I had anything against Saidu except I mean except when he posted a porn by by against I mean we didn't have really drama I think power it's because of power I think power just started it yes I did like demote him right but he was like the only one complaining in my opinion 
Yeah, I mean, nobody likes drama, but I mean, I'm not gonna permanently stop drama. It's gonna happen at some point, right? Uh, someone's gonna fuck up, and something's gonna happen on the fucking Discord server. And uh, if it happens, I'm gonna try my best to stop it, and that's what I did. I try my best to stop it. Even though the previous drama with Fatty was kind of longer, I did it here. No. Anyways, the event. What was the event? It was... Okay, I remembered. It was with the emojis. So, I want to, like, make an event where you would post your emoji. And if it gets upvoted or whatever, it would probably be featured on the server. And there will be, like, 10 free slots of community emojis. And it's probably going to be a fun way to engage with the community. Something's going to fuck up. Unification with Black Server. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, rip black server. Come on, it was, it was actually fun there. But uh, it was actually also the only server that I was competitive with. I was gonna compete with black server. Obviously, you know they had a lot of members, so they, but they were losing members really fast. They like lost three hundred members or something. They like they lost thirty three percent of their like fucking server. Obviously. Black was like, ah, oh, the server's fucked, I'll, I'll delete it. He didn't tell me, he didn't tell that to me. I think that was his uh, main thing. I think Black lost everything at this point, except Steam. His Steam is insane. He, yeah, he has like five knives in CSGO. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> He's so lucky, but uh, what, what can I do? But I think he lost everything at this point. But like, I mean, I wouldn't really quit YouTube because, I mean, okay. First of all, people ask me, oh, why don't you quit YouTube and start a new channel? Well, I can't because I have other two channels. But to me, like, quitting YouTube is kind of stupid. Um, I mean, because, because let's say, like, I mean, why would you quit with a channel with 25k. If you never had 25k in your life. Why would you do that? Unless your your channel is super controversial. So that's why with 10 rates I'm going to try to get. You know. Do content on it. And when I do content on it. Obviously it's getting more views than the other channels. Which is obvious. Because it's, just, it's the large, largest channel. on. You know. Of my list of channels. So that's why. And Black kind of fucked up. He was like, oh, I, I wasn't really happy with like the recent views of my CSGO gameplay stuff. That's why I made the Black CS. And it, apparently what happened, which is expected, he gets less views than his main. And what's, what's he gonna do? He's gonna stop like uploading again? He's gonna upload every two months again? Like in he, with his previous channel? Is he gonna like quit YouTube permanently? What was the what was the point of making a YouTube channel then? If you are not gonna do anything about it, obviously money and fame, but I I wouldn't quit. I wouldn't quit. I believe that I can can bring my channel to its like knees again. Welcome back. Also, the podcast is over one hour, so I wasn't expecting the podcast to be this long. Uh, unless you have any other questions, I think I will wrap it up here. I don't want to like put everything in one podcast. Uh, so do it before it's oh. I'm gonna put some music. I recommend rebranding shit. Well, I kind of rebranded my channel. Sort of. Not yet. It's not fully complete. But you can see that I use, like, this red theme, right? Like, red clouds and red land. You probably saw that in my videos. In my recent videos. And I really like that filter. I think it does suit my channel. Especially with my red character ready. So... That's mostly the reason. I'm obviously gonna do more editing stuff. 
uh, and I'm also planning to do big videos. I do have several ideas, and like do these, like make a new. Nah, nah. That's what everyone says. That's what everyone says, and it will fail. I'm telling you, it will fail. It's not gonna work. There, there's no way I'm making a new channel. I just said it before, like five minutes ago. There's no way I'm making a new channel. I'm not gonna do the same shit like Black. Because when you quit a channel, make a new one, you're not gonna get as uh, as many views as your previous channel. Because nobody fucking cares. Yeah, sure, you will get new people, but like, it's still, you're gonna take the same path. Maybe we'll have more experience with YouTube, but it's the same shit. Probably not gonna work. Like nine percent of the time, unless you're really lucky. You gotta make something interesting. So that's how you succeed. You need to make something interesting and entertaining. That's what I said one year ago uh, on my video how to get views. But the problem is like when I'm making my videos, I think I talk about myself too much. At least you won't have kids who want mapping. Yeah, I mean, for me, I think I got used to it a bit, which is kind of bad to say <laughs> when I quit mapping. But I think that that's what it is. When you get popular, I mean, I didn't I didn't get used to it, but when you got popular with mapping, you're obviously gonna get kids who want mapping. For me, that was like a bit over exhausting for me. That's why I quit. I mean, that's not not the only reason. Obviously, the community, the people who want to strike you. Parents and friends. <laughs> I mean, you're always gonna have shit fans. Like, obviously, not everyone's gonna be shit. But that small percentage. But my goal was I don't want to turn my channel. I don't wanna represent myself as a mapping channel. I want to have a loyal fan base. That was the point. I want to have a little fan base, I want to rebrand myself. And I think I can do it this year. I think I can get to 30k this year. The parent stuff are the reason why I made a new channel. Yeah. I guess. Alright, I don't think I have anything you to say. So... Unless you tell me something in, a, in 10 seconds. I think that is it for Inficast 001. Uh, so, yeah. With new streaming, we talked about various stuff. I'm telling you something. Alright, tell me. Alright, yeah, you don't have anything. Thank you guys for watching. This is Inficast 001. 002. Maybe every Monday. I hope you get 30k. You actually have viewership. Other than just me. Well, I do. Um, I think I can I can get to to 100k, which is my dream. So far for YouTube, it's not for me. It's not about the money. Like, that's not my top thing. My top thing is subscribers, then views, then money. And then everything else below that. Alright. See you guys. This is it for Inficast. Next, next stream will probably include two people. I think it was Scottrian and Blank. Alright, see you guys.